In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect any Ledger hardware wallet to MetaMask. I'm making this as a small update to part of my full Ledger guide, which is my most popular video. Link will be up here and down below. About a week after I released that video, MetaMask was updated and now the process is a little different than what I had showed. This happens every time I come out with a guide or review, so here is the up-to-date version. So a couple things first, this will work for any Ledger device. So this works for the S, the S Plus, and the X. I'm going to show it on the X because that's my preferred device and you can find a link to it down below. So you will need to set up a Ledger device and again I have a video that shows you how to do that so the link will be up here and down below. From that you will get a 24 word seed phrase from it. Do not put that anywhere besides on the physical device itself. If you're not careful, it could give hackers and scammers an opening to steal your assets. If you want to learn more about this, check out my video that shows you each of the most common scams, how they work, and how to avoid them. You will also need the MetaMask browser extension. Link will be down below, and I'll also show you how to do this in the video. Also, this does not work on MetaMask Mobile for you Nano X users. I believe that they're working on this functionality, but right now you will need to use it with the browser extension. All right, with all that out of the way, let's head into the laptop. All right, so here we are in Google Chrome. So go ahead and go to that link. So it's going to be adamventure.link slash MetaMask. Oh, there it is right there, hit that. It'll take you straight to the MetaMask website and then what you want to do here is click the download button and then install MetaMask for Chrome and that will take you straight to the Chrome extension. Then what you can do is select add to Chrome and then add extension. All right, and there you see it at the top. So then what you want to do is it'll disappear in a sec if I click that. So then it's going to come up with a pop up. But before that, what you want to do is click this puzzle piece icon right up here, extensions and then click the pin button and that'll keep it right at the top. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when you install the extension. So go ahead and play around with the Fox a little bit if you want. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click get started. Okay, so first things first, what you need to do is click create a wallet. And I know that we already have accounts on our ledger, but you're gonna need to do this anyway, just trust me. So create a wallet. I agree. So then we're going to go ahead and create a new password. All right. And then click, I have read and agree the terms of use. Click create. All right. And I'll show you this video, but you can just click through next. So next thing is it's going to give you a 12 word seed phrase. You don't actually need this because we're not actually going to be using anything on these seed words. So what you can go ahead and do is just click remind me later because we just need to get into the wallet. So there's a little pop up with some updates and we'll just click close. So now that we're in the wall, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that the settings are accurate. So go ahead and click this up here and you'll see connect hardware wallet. We'll do that in a sec. So go ahead and click settings. Then you want to go down to advanced, scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you will see the preferred ledger connection type. And so what you want to do is make sure that that is on web HID. The method that I showed in my previous video involved Ledger Live and that was the only connection option at the time, but it is much better to use this web HID. So just make sure that it's selected on that. Then we can scroll back up and exit out of this over here. All right, so now we're back into the regular view of the wallet. Now let's go ahead and click this icon again and then go into connect hardware wallet. Obviously we have the ledger, so we're gonna go ahead and click ledger. Now it says plug in your ledger wallet. And so I'll show you this over here. As you see that we have the ledger, it is connected with the wire into my computer that you see here. You'll see that it's asleep right now, so what we need to do is we'll wake it up and then we're gonna go ahead and type in the pin. All right, so now that we're in, we're going to go over to the Ethereum app, uh, double click on this and then you'll see application is ready. Now, if you don't know how to get to this point, I highly recommend that you go watch that full ledger guide that I've mentioned several times this video. It'll show you exactly what you need to do to get to this point. All right, so back on the laptop screen, uh, we're gonna go ahead and click continue here. Now you'll see this little pop-up here that says it wants to connect to the ledger device and you'll see your, uh, your Nano here. And if it's unlocked with the Ethereum app open, you should see it listed here. So go ahead and click connect. So now you'll see a bunch of your accounts pop up. So go ahead and leave this on Ledger Live. 
and go ahead and select as many accounts as you want to load on there. You typically don't need that many, so I'm just gonna do the one for now and then go ahead and click unlock. So once you do that, you'll see that we are in the wallet now. Uh, and you'll see that there is Ethereum on the account. If you go over into your top right, you can then switch between those accounts. So this was the original account that we had created and then this is the ledger and you'll see that by this little ledger logo right here. So if you wanted to add more accounts, you can just go through the Connect Hardware wallet and just go through those steps again, click the check boxes for those accounts and there you go. You have all of your accounts within MetaMask now. And if we go ahead and click the extension button at the top, you'll see that it is indeed hooked up to your account. And now you are ready to go to do any degenerate DeFi activities that you wanna do. <laughs> So that's it, that is all you need to do to connect your ledger to MetaMask. This was a shorter bite-sized video, so let me know if you wanna see more of these down below. If this video helped you at all, I'd appreciate you leaving a like and you know, might as well subscribe while you're down there too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to grab your free crypto and stocks using the links down below and track them with the portfolio that is also down there. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.